Brother Bo Sanchez! Everybody ready to receive God's all? I want you to greet someone beside you with a handshake or a big hug and tell that person, receive all. Yes, receive all. Receive all. I know that some of you have gone through some difficulties. You, you carry some burdens, some worries, some fears in your heart. But it's so good to see you here at the feast. Ask me why. Because when you're at the feast, you realize that though you have problems, you take one step backward, you look at your entire life and you say, my gosh, I thought my problem was so big. I thought I've got so many problems. Your problems is 1% of your life. 99% are blessings. 99% are blessings. You are blessed abundantly. I'd like to welcome all those who've come for the first time. Just raise your hand. I want to welcome you. Thank you so much for coming. God bless you. We love you. Make this your permanent spiritual home. And after the feast, go to the lobby. We're going to give you a welcome gift. Thank you so much for coming. You know, last week I had my regular date with my mother. And I usually bring her out, you know, and, and we, we go to this, you know, simple restaurants, nice restaurants. But last week, I wanted to change and a little bit of change. I, I brought her to this upscale Italian restaurant in a nice hotel, you know, with two sets of forks and spoons and a dessert spoon and a coffee spoon and a thick napkin and with wine glasses, goblets and, you know, with this, with this uh, British person attending to us, huh? uh, do you want sparkling water or still water? Uh, we don't want to steal anything, <laughs> but, but it was wonderful. But, but what was funny was mom, I gave her the, the leatherette bound huge uh, menu. She had about, took about 10 minutes just working on that menu, pouring onto the, just fine, could not order anything. And I said, mom, what's wrong? You've been looking at that thing for 10 minutes. There's nothing below 100 pesos. <laughs> Mom, there's nothing below 300 pesos. Come on, order. No, no, it's so expensive. It, she could ha it was so difficult for her until I finally told her, Mom, you're not paying. I am. Mom, you can choose the most expensive dish in that menu. It's okay because you're not paying. I am. You could order all the dishes in that menu, all of it, it's okay because you're not paying, I am. I've got word for you. Are you ready for this? There's a menu in front of you and, and it says wisdom and blessing and inspiration and miracles and healing and every resource that you need in your life. And God says, you're not paying, I am. God says, grace is on the house, love is on the house, blessings is on the house. We're going to talk about how we should give our all to God. One more time, say all. all. But all of that is a response because from the very beginning, everybody say from the beginning, Amen. your God has said, I've given you my all. I have given you my love, all of my love. I've given you all of my mercy, all of my forgiveness, and you're not paying, I am. If you're ready to be blessed today, come and pray with me together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit everybody say today I receive all of God's love for me today I open myself to the unbounded limitless overflowing abundance of God's universe today I open myself to your blessings healing and miracles today I open myself to God's Word so that I become more like Jesus every day Today I proclaim that I'm God's beloved, I'm God's servant, I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I will bless the world in Jesus' name. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. In Luke chapter 21, verse 1, it says, As Jesus looked up, Jesus saw 
the rich, putting their gifts into the temple treasury. He saw a poor widow, everybody say poor widow, put in two very small copper coins. Say copper coins. I tell you the truth, he said, this poor widow has put in more than all the others. Say more. more. All these people gave their gifts out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in all she had to live on. You know what? When, when, you, when you read a passage like this, it's amazing. Uh, two copper coins. Say two copper coins. In Greek, the word used is lepta. And biblical scholars would always argue how much is that. Well, I would think, you know, reading all these scholars, I would think it, she gave about 20 to 25 pesos, okay? But, but one thing you'll find out here is that a poor widow, I mean, when you, when you understand the biblical times, a poor widow during biblical times lived a life of hell on earth. Number one, she cannot inherit the property of her husband. There's no, by law. Number two, if her kids were poor, or if she had no kids, or if her kids did not care for her, the widow becomes very, very poor. Now friends, this was the condition of that woman, and she gave two copper coins. And then the rich comes, and they give bags of gold. Bang! 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 And then this old woman, you know, poor widow comes in and ding, ding, two small coins. If I was Jesus, you know what I would have done? Ask me what? I would have ran to her before she dropped those two coins. Lady, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, no. Be practical. Be practical. Don't give all. I mean, you, 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 you have transportation going home? Tomorrow, do you have breakfast? I mean, don't give your all. Be practical. If you want to give, then give maybe one coin. Keep one coin to yourself. I would have done that. Did Jesus do that? He did the very opposite. He praised her to the high heavens. He put her in a pedestal and he said, that's what you need to do. You need to give your all. And I said, whoa! Why would Jesus do that? Because that's the secret of big returns. You know, brothers and sisters, when you give your all to God, everybody say that again, all. all. When you give your all to God, God does not look at the amount that you're giving. You know what He's looking at? He's looking at what's left after you give, whether you gave your all or not. And today, we're going to pray right now for the Holy Spirit to come and quicken and stir up in our hearts the ability to give our all to God. You may not understand how, you may not understand what, what's going to happen, but you just make that decision. Lord, I want to give you my all. Are you ready? Put your hand over your chest. Everybody say, Father, I am following that widow. I want to give my all. I don't know how, but I know that if I give my all, it is the secret of big returns. And I believe today you will bless me you will speak to me in Jesus name Amen thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path give the Lord a big hand and love him hey. Day. Worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the happiest place on earth. And welcome to our brand new series, T3, The Secret of Big Returns. And today I'm going to give you my first message. The title of the message is Give Total. I want you to tell someone beside you, Give Total. I'm going to give you a warning. Say warning. My warning is this, that this course is not for everybody. This course 
is for people who want to have big returns, big rewards, big happiness, big harvests. If you are someone and you're content with small returns and mediocre living and mediocre life and mediocre marriage and mediocre job and mediocre business and mediocre happiness, then this course is not for you. But if you want big harvest, big blessing, big miracles, then this is for you. Now, who's with me on this? Do you want big? Tell someone beside you, this is for you. <laughs> for you. This really is. Are you ready? You know what? The first thing I want to say is this. The secret of big returns is really not a secret. You look around you and you find out that there are certain individuals who've known the secret, who practice the secret, who share the secret, who live the secret. Who are these individuals? Ask me who? Champions. You look at different fields and you find champions. You look into their life and you realize they know the secret. Let me introduce you to one champion, Mani Pacquiao. Why is he the best pound for pound boxing champion in the world? All you and I see is what he does in the ring. You do not see, I do not see what happens outside the ring. I want you to know that I can comfortably do 10 sit-ups a day. To impress my wife one day, I tried to do 30. I reached until 24. Because when I did the 25th, there was so much pain, my wife had to carry me to the bed. <laughs> do you know how many sit-ups Mani Pacquiao does every day? I guess. 100. 200. 300, uh, 1,000? My dear friends, Mani Pacquiao does 3,000 sit-ups a day. When he prepares for a fight, he will start training at about 5.30 in the morning and he will end at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Mani Pacquiao would go through hardcore violent training Monday to Saturday to train for a, you know, do you know that Mani Pacquiao is a weakness? Do you know? Can I tell you? Coach Freddie Roach. I like that. Coach Roach. Coach Roach <laughs> said, Mani Pacquiao has a weakness. And this is his weakness. Are you ready? Man, uh, he says, Mani Pacquiao has a tendency to overtrain. And sometimes Coach Roach has to stop him. No wonder he's a champion because he knows the secret of big returns. My dear friends, what's the secret of big returns? The magic of giving your all. I'm going to say that again. Tell someone beside you, there's magic when you give your all. I want you to in introduce you, especially the younger people. Some of you are younger people here. You don't know Larry Bird. You, you wouldn't know this guy, but he is one of the very best basketball players in the history of the game. They say that Larry Bird has this magic touch. When he releases the ball, it's like it's programmed to go into the ring. You know, Larry Bird, they, they, they would notice that when he shoots, sometimes he doesn't even look, and it goes in. Sometimes it's so far, and he's not looking, and it goes in. He has this reverse layup where he, he's about to, to bring in the ball, and then he changes and moves to another, and then he changes again, and then he, you know, it's, it's like, it's magic, you know? Now, friends, it's not magic. If you study his life, it's not magic. It's practice. Because Larry Bird is known to do this. You know, his team would practice. 
very regularly, you know, every day, every other day. But then when the practice is over and the team, the entire team, is already in the lockers taking a shower, you know what Larry Bird is doing? He's left in the court. He closes the lights. The lights, he closes them, shuts them down. And then he gets the ball and he starts shooting in semi-darkness for about 30 minutes all around the perimeter of the game. And what he would do is he would then go to the three-point shot area, gets the ball, holds it up, closes his eyes and shoots and does it again, close, it's amazing. Why is Larry Bird a champion in basketball? Because he knows the secret of big returns. He knows the magic of giving your all. I'll give you another example. You know this fellow? Gary V. of course. He's a guy who has won AWIT Awards for Best Male Performer, not once, not twice, not three times, not five times, 11 times. That's how incredible this guy is. And yet many of us know this, that he has type 1 juvenile diabetes since the age of 14. He has had on his body 90,000 insulin injections so far and continues to have them but he said he said being interviewed one time nothing can stop me diabetes will not stop me every time he's on stage he will give his very best he will give his heart he will give his soul he will give every drop of sweat in his body he will give his all you got what i'm saying no wonder he's a champion in entertainment because he knows the secret of big returns. He knows the magic of giving your all. Let me talk about Jackie Chan, a big star, both in Hong Kong and Hollywood. Do you know him? Do, do, do you sometimes see him on TV and maybe watch him on your movies? Do you know why he's big? You want to know why? You know, he appears, some of you don't know this, maybe some of you do, but some of you don't know this, he appears twice in the Guinness Book of World Records. Twice. The first one is he has the record of the most stunts of a living actor. Meaning to say he does his own stunts, okay? He's an action figure, an action star, and, and he does his own stunts. No insurance company is willing to insure him. This is a fact. Because in all the movies he has done, he has fractured his skull, displaced his pelvis, broken his toes, his fingers, his nose, both cheekbones, neck. And friends, when you think about that, do you want to be like Jackie Chan? You want to be his... Basically what I'm saying is that he gives his all. No wonder he's a champ. The second time he appears in the book of Guinness, of world records, is this. He holds the record for the most takes of a scene in a movie. Do you know the clapper that, you know, the nagkamali sa eksena? What does the doctor say? Uh, what is the... No? Cut! Okay, take two. Right? Right? You know, and nagkamali na naman. They made him again so what do, what do take three okay take 25 you know it goes on and on Jackie Chan holds the record for the most takes of a single scene do you know how many takes you want to guess 2,900 <laughs> a scene like you watch the scene it will be finished in one minute Two minutes, it's over. You forget about it. Jackie Chan repeated it 2,900 times because he wanted it to be perfect, excellent. No wonder he's a champion. And then we sit in our chairs and say, Bakit sila champion? Daya. 
unfair? Go ahead, go ahead and do something 2,900 times. I, I've got, I've, I have to say this to you. Are you ready for this? When you look at a successful person, you realize one thing. Ask me what? They're a little bit crazy. Am I right? They're fanatical. They're obsessed. They're, they're, they're insane. They're illogical. They're unreasonable. But that's why they're successful. Because they give their all. Do you want to be successful? Are you sure? Are you willing to give your all? Do you want to be successful? Can you raise your hand? Everybody. Now, are you willing to give your all? <sighs> Mother Teresa, Gallup polls, survey after survey after survey says that she is the most admired person in the 20th century. When she passed away, she left behind 4,000 nuns running 610 mission centers in 123 countries around the world. We love that woman. Why is she a champion? Because she gave her all. What I'm going to invite you to do now is to ask yourself that question. Hey, that's the secret of big returns? Give my all? Wow. I don't know if I can do it. I'm going to teach you. This is not just a course. I'm going to invite you to do a 30-day experiment. And what we're going to do is, it's inserted in your feast bulletin. For 30 days, I want you to do three things. Give your time, give your talent, and give your treasure. Everybody say time. Everybody say talent. Everybody say treasure. This is our experiment. For the next 30 days, number one, give 10 minutes of your day to God. How many minutes? 